Okay, so this is going to be a reflection analysis of chapter three of, of Mice and Men. So in this chapter, we certainly had our highs and our lows on the emotional roller coaster, didn't we? Um, just as a reminder, in chapter two, Lenny sensed that the ranch was not a safe place for them. And then in chapter three, that really brings that prophecy to light with a number of occurrences that are dark and violent. First of all, we have the death of Candy's dog, which is, oh my gosh, how heartbreaking. And the crushing of Curly's hand. Um, those are both situations that will have repercussions later in the story. Now, these dark images are balanced with Lenny's happiness in securing a puppy and the promise um, of being able to finally like get their farm dream life going. Rather than alleviating the sense of foreboding though, this juxtaposition of the dark scenes with scenes um, full of promise really serves to increase our apprehension as readers. Now the chapter ends with Curly getting his hand crushed and Lenny and George's claims that Lenny doesn't mean to, to hurt anyone. Um, really foreshadows later events. And I said in a previous video, I really don't think that Lenny has a mean bone in his body. He's not a malicious person. However, he was motivated to defend himself and respond to um, George's request to get him. Now, there is some hope for um, the characters in this chapter. The dream is brought up again. And this time we really see kind of an air of possibility that the dream could be a reality. However, I really want you to consider the events in this chapter, especially the fight between Lenny and Curly and what that could foreshadow um, in terms of complications of making this dream a reality. Another thing that gets discussed um, in this chapter is that theme of loneliness and friendship. Um, George is really kind of bonded with Slim in this chapter. Jo um, Slim is a kind, intelligent man, and George is really able to open up to him about his past and his relationship with Lenny. And this show shows that George really values friendship. He values that connection with other humans. Like, even though Lenny's kind of a burden to him, he keeps Lenny and his relationship with Lenny close to him because he... Um, in his time traveling, he has seen so many men grow bitter and mean due to the loneliness of their existence and their many years spent alone. So he understands that importance of um, re positive relationships. Candy also comes to the, to the realization that he will soon be fired from this job because he has very little left to offer on the ranch. Much like his dog's end, he seems to be recognizing the end of his career and maybe the end of his own life. Now, these actions further ingrain the ideas that these men live in a rough, brutal world, both physically and emotionally. So there's your analysis of chapter three.